So today I am going to teach you how to write down the electronic configuration for the elements between 20 to 30 as we have already seen in the previous video that how to write the electronic configuration Bohr's electronic configuration 281, 282, 27 like that for 1 to 20 elements. Now I am going to teach you for elements 20 to 30 so mostly this part is highly confusing for grade 7 and 8 seven eight nine students so i have decided to make a video on that so guys before watching the video i have given a link in the description to for the basic spdf orbitals for till grade nine so if you watch that video then this video lecture would be very helpful for you and the link is in the description kindly check it out so again to be very quick in few of the aspects i would like to tell you that if you are talking with regard to the Bohr's atomic model, then this is our nucleus. This is first orbit. This is second orbit, third orbit, fourth orbit and so on. Right? So this is n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4. All are circular orbits. And we have already studied that the first orbit itself is made up of one suborbit that is called S. Second orbit is made up of two suborbits S and P. Third orbit is made up of third suborbit or orbitals called SPD. And the fourth one is made up of four suborbits or orbitals. So it will be S, P, D, and F. And since I have already discussed that. There are only maximum four suborbits in any given orbits. So if we talk about fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth orbit, all are made up of maximum four suborbits. There is no SPD F. There is no other orbital beyond this one. Now, we have already learned that there can be maximum two electrons that can be accommodated in S. In P, you can accommodate maximum six electrons. In D, you can maximum accommodate 10 electrons. And in F, you can accommodate maximum 14 electrons. So here the first orbit itself is made up of one suborbit. So I am going to write down one s. Then two suborbits. The second orbit is made up of two suborbits, two s and two p. Third suborbit is made up of three s, three p, three d. And fourth suborbit is made up of four s, four p, four d, four f. And in fifth one also we are going to continue like that. Now. The rule is the electrons they always get filled in the lowest energy orbit first and then eventually if this orbit gets filled then the electrons get transferred to the higher energy orbits and the lowest energy orbit out of all of them is 1s. So as you go in this direction the energy of the orbits keeps on increasing but there was an, exp there was an exception that compared to 4s the 3d has got larger energy. So electrons will be filled in 1s, then 2s, then 2p, then 3s, then 3p, then 4s and then the electrons will be filled in 3d. So that was one of the things that we needed to learn. And now <clears throat> I'm going to start writing the electronic configuration for the next 10 elements starting from 20 to 30. So I have already done that but I'm going to teach you in step by step. And one very funny thing that I want to share with you guys is how to remember 20 to 30 elements, the first, the next 10 elements from after 20, that is after calcium. So I had a very good geography teacher, his name was SC Trivedi and he was a very fun guy. But uh, since, you know, being, um, being students, we used to always make fun of him. So this is how I have made this one, SC Trivedi, very cruel man for class 9th C and the last one is zinc. So this is how we remember SC Trivedi, very cruel man for class 9th C. I'm sorry sir if you are listening to me, uh, but uh, you gave us a very, you know, a good innovative teaching in geography and I still remember and salute you for the same. Okay, let's back, come back to the business and this is candium. And the atomic number is 21 and titanium, vanadium and so on. So the atomic numbers are written at the bottom. And how do we write this electronic configuration? So just to remind you that the atomic number of 
this scandium is 21 so I am supposed to arrange 21 electrons so first the electrons will be filled in the lowest energy orbit so let me write down 1s2 so out of 21 I have arranged 2 so now the electrons will be filled in the higher energy orbit so again maximum 2 electrons can be filled again maximum 6 electrons can be filled so 6 plus 2 8 plus 2 10 so you are supposed to write down the electron number at the top and I have arranged 10 electrons out of 21 correct now 3s2 3p6 so again 10 plus 2 12 plus 6 18 electrons now after filling 18 electrons I am still left with 3 electrons so first the electrons will go to lower energy orbit that is 4s 4s2 then the electrons will start entering into 3d orbit right so this is just an exception and you will come to know about these things in grade 11 right so just accept this so 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 and then 3d1 so let me check the numbers again 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 6 16 to 18 19 21 okay done so how am i going to write down the Bohr's electronic configuration so in first orbit i have first orbit i have two electron in second orbit i have eight electrons in third orbit i have six plus two eight plus one nine and in the fourth orbit i have two so the electronic configuration is two eight nine two so this is how we write the electronic configuration which is mentioned over here so now you can just try pause the video try it by yourself but there are two exceptions one of chromium and one of copper <clears throat> you can fill up the electrons in the given order mentioned over here just make sure that you are taking care of these two orbitals 4s has got less energy level less energy compared to 3d so here is the electronic configuration 2892 then the electrons will be filled now since 4s is completely filled and 3d can accommodate 10 electrons so now the electrons will be filled in 3d2 3d 3d3 then 3d5 3d6 3d7 3d8 again then there are two exceptions over here and then 3d10 so now when the electrons are completely filled in 3d10 so now as per this rule if you still want to continue further these orbitals are now completely filled so electrons will go into 4p after 4p the electrons will go on to the higher orbits so now let me tell you something about this guys in chromium what happens is since i am supposed to arrange 24 electrons so 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 now here there will be an exception that i want to tell you that it will be 3d5 and 4s1 so first of all i'll explain you what is this but let me first of all write down the electronic configuration this is 2 then in second orbit we have 8 electrons in third orbit i have 6 5 11 plus 2 13 electrons and then in the fourth orbit i have one electron so this is a bit strange and why it is so guys because the there is again another rule that you will learn in grade 11 that half filled orbitals and completely filled orbitals are completely stable so had it been 3d4 4s2 but instead we have 3d5 because the maximum holding capacity of d orbit is 10 now out of that it is filled half so and s is also filled half so this electronic configuration is more stable rather than 4s2 3d4 because half filled and completely filled orbitals are more stable so had it been i have made 4s2 and 3d4 compared to that 3d5 and 4s1 both of them are half filled because s can, can accommodate maximum 2 d can accommodate maximum 5 so there is an exception over here and in the same way the copper 1s2 2s2 2p6 now here it will be 4s2 and 3d10 so it will be 2 8 18 2 and why guys it is again like that because 
it won't be 3d9 after that because 3d10 would be more stable electronic configuration compared to 3d9 it is because it is because the half filled and completely filled elect the orbits are completely stable and i have made a small mistake here it should be 4s1 right so it will be like this 2 8 18 1 so here in 4s we would be having one electron and instead of nine electrons one electron will be filled more over here because half filled and completely filled orbitals are more stable so you can also make 4s2 and 3d9 but under that configuration this would be stable but this won't be stable but instead of that this is half full half filled and this is completely filled so this is more stable electronic configuration so and the zinc you can try it by yourself it follows the normal pattern so hopefully guys that you have understood how to write the electronic configuration just go through them if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section thank you for watching the video